Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to find an image. So I'm going to go to Google and I am going to search uh, Flamingo. And in images, I'll get lots of images. I'm going to go to the search tools and make sure I select large size only. That way the resolution is, is good and clean. And I'll select, I don't know, an interesting looking image of a flamingo. Um, I'll just, uh, we'll find one in here that looks of interest to us. How about, well, how about that one? Okay. If it says click to look at the resolution, we'll click to it. Looks like it's going to be right protected, so we'll go to a different one. Well, I guess we can go to that right there. If you right click on your mouse and click copy image, and then go to Photoshop, we're going to File up at the top left corner and New, and that brings up this right here, um, which we're going to move that resolution from 72 to 200. Click OK. And now that we've copied it over on our browser, we can hit Control and the key V as in Victor, and it will paste it right in there just like that. Okay? Now, my image size is a little off. It looks like it's about five inches if I look at my ruler here and, and my ruler here. So I'm going to need to change that. The image size of our document that we're going to be working with is 10 by 16. So the longer side, which is the five inch on the width, we're going to change to 16 and see that changes the height to 12. Well, we're going to go ahead and say OK because we don't want to smush that flamingo down. So we're going to make it 16 by 12 and that blows it up on the screen like that. So you can hit Control 0 and that brings it back to where you can see all of it. Uh, now we've got it 16 inches wide, but we've got to crop a little bit. So we're going to grab this crop tool right here and I'm going to grab the bottom of the picture and I'm going to push it up to 10 inches and if you look at that little box it'll say 10 exactly when you get to 10 inches and if it's not perfect if it's close we'll be okay with that okay now I can take the image by clicking on just the image and I can drag that image around a little bit but I don't want to lose the top of that flamingo's head, so I think I'm going to just go ahead and click OK. And now I've cropped that to where my image size is 16 by 10. So now I'm OK on my image size. The next thing is to change it to black and white. So I go to Image, Adjustments, and I'm going to go all the way down to Desaturate. Okay, And then I'm going to go back into Image, Adjustments, and that top one says brightness and contrast. So I'm going to mess with the brightness. and Maybe less of the contrast, jack it up a little bit, slow it back down. And that gives me a little bit more control over the image and what it looks like. Okay, when I get it like I want, um, if I don't have my rulers on here, I can click view and make sure rulers is checked right there under view. But I can take my arrow key and click and drag out some guides. And we want to create a two inch grid, so every two inches we'll put a guide. And again, it needs to be close. I'm not sure that a hundredth of an inch is going to be a big deal, but um, we'll make sure that we have them close. And then we want to go across the same way. get all those on there and that will be our grid that we'll use to scale the drawing and since we're creating this document exactly the same size as our paper it's not really scaling we're just transferring the image so this is what you would want to do and then you just click file save as and I'm going to type flamingo and make sure it's saving to the desktop click save, click OK, and now I have that document on my desktop ready to go so when I want to copy this image, when I want to transfer it to the paper, I can open it and have my grid right there ready to go.